previously on Pokemon Go. Welcome back to another Pokemon Go video. Now guys, before I start this video, I had a 24 hour live stream this past weekend, so if my voice sounds a little weird today, it's because I, I completely lost my voice and I'm just now recovering from it. But, losing my voice did not stop me from going Pokemon hunting the, on Sunday and the entire Monday, just day. So I didn't have any voice this entire Monday and I decided that I was just gonna go out with my brothers and we would just go and catch as many Pokemon as we can. Now, I did not record or vlog anything from when we were catching Pokemon earlier because I decided that today's episode is going to be a evolving extravaganza. So as you guys can see, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my iPad right here. At the very start of the video already, we are level 20. We gained so many levels on Sunday night and Monday the entire day. We literally spent the entire day catching Pokemon. Like, it was what we did. Like, that's what I did my entire Monday day. So, let me go ahead and show you guys. Obviously, I have traded in and transferred a lot of the Pokemon that we have caught. But I did invest a little bit of money into the game because I wanted to be able to hold more Pokemon. And on top of that, I also wanted to um, just be able to hold more items. So anyways, let's start this off, guys. Let's go ahead and change this to the combat power. Check this out. Guys, I actually received a Lapras from the 10 kilometer egg. I hatched two 10 kilometer eggs today, and one of them was like complete crap. Wait, what did I get from the other 10 kilometer egg? Uh... I don't, I can't quite remember, but I know for a fact that this Lapras right here was from a 10 kilometer egg. One of the best Pokemon that I currently have right now as of this moment, but by the end of this episode, this might be one of my worst Pokemon. Who knows? Like, I'm just going to be doing a whole bunch of evolving today. So let's go ahead and scroll through this real quickly, and let's change this to number, just to, so then you guys get an idea of what we've been doing. So over here, as you guys can see, I've got a lot of the starter Pokemon. I found this Bulbasaur right here, which is almost four. 400 CP and this is gonna be one of the best ones to go ahead and evolve and try to get a Venusaur Later on in the series. So we got the Bulbasaurs. We got the Charmander this Charmander right here I got this Charmander from a two kilometer egg today and I I was ecstatic like it, if you guys can tell by the CP and like just how high that meter is It's like almost max basically and we are probably gonna be evolving this as well by the end of the video Obviously so I got Charmanders the one thing that I didn't get much of surprisingly was Squirtle. Squirtle was like obviously one of the starter Pokemon, but I only got two of those Squirtles, and they're pretty rare in my area, I guess. I just have no luck in catching them. I'm gonna keep on scrolling here. Let's see what else we got to show you guys. A lot of Pidgeys, of course. Got my Pidgeot, the Rattatas. Uh, Rattata? How do I say that? I have no idea. Rattata. I got one Pikachu, super strong as always. CP of 418. We are nowhere close though to being able to evolve the Pikachu. Like we just have no Pikachu candies. Like there's no electrical places around my area that allows me to catch um, Pikachus easily. So Pikachus are a rare occurrence in the area that I'm staying at right now. Now also check this out guys. The Nidoran and the Nidoran. The male and female Nidorans. I've got two of them that are pretty high CP value and I should if I remember correctly I should have enough to at least evolve those two to their second form today so that is gonna be really nice I got a couple Clefairies I got a really lucky while I was driving um, we ended up passing a Vulpix twice and I ended up getting a Vulpix so that is actually another fire Pokemon that we have in our arsenal uh, we got a couple of Jigglypuffs Zubats as always check out this Oddish guys this Oddish has a CP of 584 like what? You don't ex you don't see things like that. You don't expect things like that. Venonats. I'm going to keep on scrolling. Look at all these Psyducks, dude. I'm actually looking forward to um, evolving this Psyduck into a Gold Duck, I think is what it's called. And we're going to be doing that later today. Got a whole bunch of Poliwags as well. I want an Alakazam. And I just do not have enough, um, I don't have enough Abra Candy, I don't, I don't think, to evolve it all the way. Wait, is there a middle point between Abra and Alakazam? There is, right? 
Wait, let me look that up on Google real quickly here. Ah, yes there is. You go from Abra to Kadabra to Alakazam. So I don't think I'll have enough to actually evolve this into an Alakazam today, but we will definitely have a Kadabra by the end of today's episode. So that's going to be something to look forward to. Oh god, my voice is running out. Uh, let's keep on scrolling down. My one and only Magnemite. Hashed this from an egg earlier today as well. Freaking ecstatic about that. None of those in my area. No electric types in my area whatsoever, guys. Also, we got a Ponyta here. I don't know why, but I've, given, I've been getting a handful of, um, of fire Pokemon recently, and I think I have way too many. I have a lot of fire and a lot of water type because I've, I always bike and longboard up and down like this lakeside. And I've been getting a lot of water Pokemon, and my like my team composition has kind of been going a little bit crazy. And as you guys can see here, we also have a level 1,000 Slowbro, like 1,000 CP Slowbro, another water type, pretty freaking crazy. Uh, what else do we have? Let's see, we got our very first Voltorb. I'm actually super excited about this right here. We have an Execute with a CP of 563. We do not have enough to evolve that yet, but that's going to be something to look forward to in the future. Um, horses, Goldines, a lot of star use. I'm assuming I will definitely be able to evolve this today, and that is going to be freaking exciting. Check this out. We have a pincer with a freaking CP of 992. We're definitely going to be able to level this up today, but I just I'm, I only have a right underneath 100,000 Stardust. I don't know if I'll be able to get that like super super strong. And guys, last but not least, my most the, 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 the thing that I am waiting for the most this entire session is this Magikarp right here. Guys, I, I literally spent hours going up and down the lakeside just getting Magikarps all freaking day. And today, we caught this 135 CP Magikarp, which is almost max. And if you guys look at how much candy we have, we have exactly enough, even more to actually evolve this into our first Gyarados. Now I did catch a Gyarados and it was super freaking weak. Check this out, dude. I caught this earlier today as well. It was on the lakeside, super randomly just spawned on one of the lured Pokestops that I was at. But it was super weak, only uh, CP of 600 and eh, it was just eh. And then, as always, we do have an Eeveelution today. Um, I'm going to be getting my Jolteon, and this Eevee is level 478, so I cannot freaking wait to evolve that. I caught a couple of Vaporeons as well, and they're not really strong. They're just kind of like uh, extra Pokemon for right now. And then check this out, the one last rare that we caught all day. We got a whole bunch of Dratinis and also a Dragonair. It's a pretty weak Dragonair, so I don't think I'll be using it, but I'm going to be trading these in. And guys, let's go ahead and get this session started. First things first, before we get started with all of our evolutions, we're going to go ahead and pop ourselves a Lucky Egg. Now with this Lucky Egg, we are going to be able to get double the XP for 30 minutes, and 30 minutes should be more than enough for the amount of Pokemon that we are going to be evolving today. So that is going to be a-okay. There goes our Lucky Egg right now. So first things first, I want to evolve this Charmander. Now this Charmander is literally one of the highest levels I've ever seen, and I just don't know if I have enough candy yet in order to actually evolve this into a Charizard. So let's go ahead and evolve this bad boy. Here comes the first evolution right now. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh my god. It looks so epic. Come on, baby. First time getting a Charmeleon as well. So it's going to be one of the first things added to my Pokedex for the day. Oh my god. The joy it brings to my face. Registered to Pokedex. Wow! We have an 879 CP Charmeleon. Now guys, we are just 33 candies away from being able to evolve this Charmeleon into a Charizard. So you already know I am definitely going to be trying to go back to that same location I've been farming Charmanders at and we're going to try to get this today. Now obviously, wait, how many Charmanders do I have? I might just have enough to actually evolve this Charmeleon today. Hold on. Let's go ahead and start transferring these lower leveled ones. Wait, no, no way. No way. I need 33 Charmanders to trade in. I, I gotta catch way more. I gotta catch way more for this to work. We're just gonna move right on. I'm gonna do all that trading off camera because that transferring Pokemon takes a long time. It's very time consuming. Don't really want to do that right now. Alright, so next we have our Nidoran. So let's go ahead and over here. The Nidoran candy. We need 25 to evolve this into a Nidorino. 
I believe is what it is, if I remember my Pokemon correctly. So let's go ahead and evolve the Nidoran. The Nidoran, this is the male one, I believe. And we are going to make this into a Nidorino. This is the male version right now. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh my god. Evolving just makes you feel good. Like all the hours of hard work just paying off in that one instance. It is the best feeling. Ooh. He looks kind of the same. Like the only thing that. Oh, wait. No, this is the female version. Oh my god. I'm mistaken. This is the female one. We got the Nidorina. We need a hundred in order to get a Nidto Queen. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's gonna take us a long time. But the Knit Arena has a CP value of almost 700. Freaking fantastic. All right, here we go. So this is the Nidoran. Is this the male version? This is the male one. And then we're gonna go ahead and evolve this bad boy as well. So many evolutions. Oh, he looks like a beast. Ooh. Get it. Nice, another brand new Pokemon. First time having a Nidorino. CP value of 745, oh my gosh. I gotta start collecting and capturing more uh, Nidorans, um, male and female, so that we can get these into Nidto Queens and Nidto Kings. Now I wonder if I have enough for the Clefairy. I do not have enough to evolve Clefairy yet, so that's gonna be another future goal of ours. What about the Oddish? Do we have enough for the Oddish? We do. Oddish 584 CP, another evolution coming our way. Here we go. Aw, oh, check that out. Now, I do believe I have, I've had a, zo a Gloom. Oh, wait. I haven't. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. So now Gloom has one more evolution form. I did not know that. What does it evolve into? I can't, I can't even remember what Gloom evolves into, but we do need more Oddish stuff for that. So that is, a, wow, 878. Guys, our team is slowly going to come together over the next week or so. And if I keep on grinding out, I'm addicted. I am addicted. Hello, guys. My name is Mark, and I'm addicted to Pokemon Go. <laughs> all right, check this out. I have been waiting for this all freaking day. Psyduck has been a nuisance. I've found Psyduck everywhere, almost as much as Magikarp. So we're gonna go ahead and evolve our very first Psyduck here. Another brand new Pokemon to our Pokedex, evolving this bad boy into a Golduck right now. Here we go, come on, baby. Oh my gosh. There he is. Just like I remember him in my childhood. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. Boom. See. Whoa. CP of 1240. Oh my gosh, let's power this bad boy up. We can power him up a couple times here. We have we have so much freaking stardust and extra cider candies. <clears throat> I'm literally gonna be able to power him up as much as I can. He is gonna be my strongest Pokemon as of right now. And only, I think, the only thing that might be able to beat him will be the Gyarados. When we do evolve that Gyarados at the very, very end of this video. Oh my gosh, check this out. This is crazy. All right, we're going to keep on powering him up. Let's see what we got here. CP 1403 Gold Duck. Wow. Holy frick. Now, can we evolve a Poliwag? Oh, we can definitely evolve a Poliwag. Here we go, folks. Poliwag evolves into a Poliwhirl, if I remember correctly. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, he looks beautiful. Look at him go. His stomach is just like trying to like just, you know, confuse you. <gasps> we need two more Poliwag candies. And then we can go ahead and evolve the Poliwhirl into its next evolution, which I have never had yet. So that Poliwhirl right there was a CP of 675. Let's go ahead and trade in some of these Poliwags. We need to trade in three, I believe. Uh, oh, wait, no. We need to trade in two more. And then we will definitely have enough to get this bad boy. So there's one. And then I'm sorry, Poliwag, but you are going to have to go and take one for the team. And then let's grab our 675 Poliwhirl and evolve into the final evolution. Here we go. 
Oh my gosh. I have literally been waiting all day to do all these evolutions all on film. And I am just so happy right now. Ooh, my, ooh, he looks mean. He looks like a boxer. What is he called? I forgot what this Pokemon is called. Boom. What is he called? Polyrath. Oh, baby. CP of 1269. Not the best, not the worst. I'll take it. All right, now the Drowsies. I want more Drowsies so that I can eventually evolve it into a Hypno. Not very many in my area though, so I'm just kind of waiting on the Drowsies. Krabbies, Executes, we don't have enough yet. Caught my first Rhyhorn today. Can't believe I completely forgot about this. Rhyhorn looking really, really freaking nice. Now this Staryu, do we have enough? Oh, we definitely have enough for the Staryu. Let's go ahead and evolve Staryu. I do have, I have no idea what Staryu evolves into, so we're about to check it out right now. Here we go. Come on, baby. Give me something sexy. <gasps> no way, what is that? What the heck? He looks like an overpowered Pokemon. Guys, do you see how many water Pokemon I have? <gasps> Starmie, wow. No, Starmie with a CP of 1227. And I'm gonna be able to power him up a couple times here. Holy frick. Oh my gosh, let's get, let's see if I can get him to 1300. Can I get this Starmie to a CP of 1300? My team is slowly but surely getting stronger and stronger. This is insane. All right, I still got my Scythers. I got a couple of Jinx as well. The Pincers I could power up, but I'm gonna try to save my Stardust because here it comes, guys. The moment we've all been waiting for, we are gonna evolve our Magikarp. Almost a maxed Magikarp at this point of the game. Here we go. So remember guys, the Magikarp had a CP of 137. Was that what it was? I already forgot. 137, something around there. Oh, he's beautiful. Oh, no freaking way. Now what's his CP? I can't see a CP. I can't see a CP. Guys, I'm gonna guess 1500. It has to be at least 1500. Here we go. Scrolling down. Oh, so close. Gyarados with a 1473 and I'm gonna be able to power him up. 1500. My very first Pokemon hitting 1500 CP. Like, honestly, by far one of my strongest so far, guys. How far can I get him? How far can I train him up? Max at 1584. I don't think I can power him up anymore as it is. My trainer level is too low right now. Wow, that is insane. So remember, we do have this 478 Eevee, and I told you guys at the start of the video that I wanted a Jolteon. You guys told me, and Reddit confirmed, that there is an Easter egg with Pokemon Go, and if I rename him to Sparky, okay, and I evolve him, he will definitely evolve into a Jolteon. Now guys, um, if I wanted a Vaporeon, I would, rain I would name it Rainer. And then if I wanted a Flareon, I would rename him Pyro. But we've got Sparky here. This should, hypothetically, give us a Jolteon. Oh, no, 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 don't transfer. Oh my gosh. Let's scroll on up here. Evolve Sparky. And Sparky, hopefully, will be turning into a Jolteon. There it is. It freaking worked. Now I'm assuming his CP is going to be like 900. Oh, I, I guessed it right. It was going to be 900. 968 CP. I'm going to end up having to power him up eventually. I'm actually going to power him up a couple of times here. Because I do want to make sure that he is at least over 1,000. And since we do have spare uh, candies, we might as well just power them up. I'm not going to be using the Eevee candies for anything other than other evolutions anyways. So we might as well power up our boy Sparky. Power up. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my gosh. This is... 
Guys, this is like legitimately my entire day has led up to all of these Pokemon just slowly but surely getting powered up into what I want them to be. Oh my gosh, this is insane. How many? How much more Stardust we have? We still have about 59,000 Stardust, so I'm not even worried about that at all. We have way more than enough. Boom. All right, let's do one more power up on our boy Sparky here and he is going to finish off with a 1168 CP strong as heck oh my gosh guys let's see how much experience there it is chat 17,000 XP drop did you guys see that on the bottom left of your screen 17,000 I evolved I, have, I don't even know how many Pokemon I evolved right there holy frick and guys that is going to bring it to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be going to downtown Chicago later this week al along with some friends in order to catch more Pokemon. If you guys enjoyed today's videos, I would appreciate it if you please, please hit that like button. We'll see you guys next time for more Pokemon Go. This is D-Field. Peace.